Hey folks, so today I just discovered something really exciting. Um, I uh, bought a set of uh, newer uh, filter set for Phantom 4 um, and it includes a uh, variable ND filter which is crap, a ND16 filter, um, a UV filter and a uh, polarizer filter, a circular polarizer filter uh, which I use the most. Um, and uh, once I put those filters on, um, the first thing I discovered, and maybe it's the uh, major drawback for those filter sets, is um, they are actually much larger than the uh, stock UV filters, which is like that. The stock one is, uh, is actually quite small, quite compact. So you can see there is a size difference where the new filter is protruding out. And this is the UV filter. It's supposed to be the, the lightest and the smallest. It's still bigger than the stock one. Uh, not to mention the um, circular polarizer, which I currently have installed. Um, you can see it's, it's really huge. And it protrudes out a lot, um, especially on two sides, where uh, if you can actually use your stock gimbal lock uh, and camera cover, it's never going to fit. Um, so what I discovered is if you actually just, so the stock one actually looks like that. If you just cut it out, maybe measure the uh, spacing between your thickest uh, filter and uh, the front of the cover first, and you draw a line, and you start cutting the, uh, the plastic uh, gimbal lock. It's very easy to cut. All I used is a... Uh, my old jeweler saw when uh, I took metal smithing class, but you can go to Home Depot and find a similar saw um, for less than ten dollars, I think. Um, and you need to find a uh, filer. Mm, you can use a smaller one, which files very slowly and uh, it cuts through. Um, it leaves a very fine mark. Or you can get a really coarse one. So if you want to file a large amount of area. Uh, I mean, the small one is enough if you just have some patience. So basically you start cutting from the line that you draw uh, from earlier, you know, from the um, filter measurements. And uh, once you cut almost through, you can just basically peel it off. And the plastic is, it's not that hard, um, but it's very easy to cut. Um, and once you're done, let me try to put it on. Give me a second. All right. So I just installed the gimbal lock uh, and the camera cover um, to my Phantom DJI with a um, aftermarket to filter installed. Um, as you can see, it stops right over there. So whatever the protruding part is not going to affect uh, where your gimbal lock is going to lock on your camera. And it, I mean, it still lines up with the um, with the mark, the gimbal lock mark um, very nicely. So it, it, it works really well. And the reason I cut the front cover off is because you really don't need the front cover. Uh, first, you have the, um, if you don't have uh, CPL uh, filter installed, you have your UV, which is already serving as the protector for your camera lens inside. So there's really no need for the front cover, which uh, might look cool, uh, but it's, to me, it's pretty much useless. Um, and I think this is the best way to go because later on you get all different kinds of filters um, it should fit. It should fit very nicely. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't, it holds really tight. It doesn't move the camera at all because uh, um, because the front cover is off. It doesn't affect anything. So I hope uh, you find this um, simple trick useful. Uh, I'm still trying to find all, I mean, utilize all the functions of, of my DJI Phantom 4, but um, so far there are some quirks and uh, hopefully we can discover all the quirks and have a fix for all those um, little 
things that you really don't like about your DJI 4. Um, thank you so much for looking and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and thanks.